looking like we've got to go down here and then back up again. We're not entirely sure where we are or where we're going, but we're going to try it. Um, we found a gate, so we're going to go through that now and hopefully just sort of uh, head uphill. Do we go that way? Or do we go that way? We decided on option number three. <laughs> We're gonna go up that way. I am not in the right clothes for climbing up this hill. <laughs> Made it to the top of the hill. Might be a bit windy. And I'm gonna look over the fence. What's up YouTube, welcome back to another vlog and today I am here at the White Cliffs of Dover. Um, it's been a hot minute since I've uploaded. It's probably been about a week and a half, but I've got a lot of good content on the way to show you, so that should be good. I am here again with Kieran. You're probably gonna think that he's my only friend, I promise you that he isn't. But we're just gonna walk up and down the coastline here, see what the cliffs are like, put the drone up in some places. There's a lighthouse as well, so we'll probably check that out. And then at some point, if we've got enough time, maybe we'll go back into Dover Town Centre and take a look at the castle as well. So we'll go take some photos again. If you look closely on the horizon over there, you might be able to see France. I can't see it on the screen, but I don't know, maybe when I get back into post, I'll be able to show you. shots the sunset golden hour is on fleek today which is perfect for us uh, now we're going to take a walk along the front of the cliffs and we're going to go find a lighthouse and see if we can get some lighthouse shots as well kieran uh, kieran's drone batteries were not charged and uh he's not very happy so it means we'll have to come back again as well belen just dropped his camera bag <laughs> it's, too, it's too fucking bright there you go all good? All good. <laughs> Kieran is going to use the last little bit of battery to put his drone up. Drone the lighthouse over there. And uh, see what the colours look like, as you can see. Okay, welcome back to the studio. It's been a while since we've been here. I've just edited the photos from Dover. It's actually been a week since I've been there now. Um, I've been very busy. I've been up to London. I'm heading to Eastbourne tomorrow, so there'll be more videos, a lot more videos, and more content coming. What I'll do is, because I've got quite a lot of good photos in Dover, I'm just going to talk about my top three, and then maybe at the end I'll do a show reel so that you can see the others that I took. But let's talk about this first one. This first one is a beautiful shot of the cliffs. This is probably the most successful we've been with the light so far. So I just want to show you this one, the nice blue water, golden light coming down the lighthouse uh, there on the hill, and the white of the cliffs. I think it looks amazing. As you can see, I stretched this image up, um, so I cropped the sky out. The sky is very empty, so I just wanted to add that rule of thirds in. Um, the lighthouse looks pretty cool there as well. The next one I want to show you is one with the camera that I took of the lighthouse. I used some grass as a foreground, which uh, added a lot of depth, and the light was still amazing, that golden light there. I went to town with the autumn effect on this one to give it that really nice soft glow over the image, and I'm quite happy with it, to be honest with you. And then the final one I want to share with you is this woman and her dog walking in front of the lighthouse. Me and Kieran walked down this little road and we saw them walking up. We thought this is the perfect opportunity to get the camera out, so I put the 24 to 70 on, and then I snapped this shot. 
I actually cropped in quite a lot as well, which I can do on the Sony with its 24 megapixel. I can do that quite well. And then we have the golden light in the background, which really accentuates the shot as well. So I'm really pleased with that. Just very quickly then, here are the other shots that I got. I'll just put them across the screen now while I'm chatting um, and then we'll go on and do the outro. Well, thank you very much for watching this video. I know it's been a while since I last uploaded. It's been about two weeks, but I have five more videos I need to edit and then they'll be ready to go now after my time up London last week. So I have lots of content on the way as well as probably three more videos that I'm planning to film down in Eastbourne. Um, and then I may do some tutorials as well. So if you could do me a favor and hit the like button, maybe drop me a comment below and let me know what you thought of the video. If you want to see more like this, then subscribe. I've got so many vlogs on the way that I think you're going to enjoy. So you're going to want to subscribe and then come back and watch those later on. In the meantime, make sure you're getting out there, keep creating, and I'll see you in the next video.